was created for. I was created for. Whoa. I was created for. No one believed I was created for. Man, Jesus. 
He's always there. He's always there. He ain't never left me. He ain't never forsaken me. He's always there. My, my Jesus. My, my Jesus. My, 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 my Jesus. How you doing, everybody? I'm Nina Taylor, and here is your gospel news. A movie was made about the devastating Flint, Michigan water crisis before the residents had clean and safe water available to them. Nevertheless, Lifetime's new film, entitled Flint, is based on Josh Sanborn's February 2016 cover story for Time magazine. It's called The Poisoning of an American City. It's soon to be released on the Lifetime network. The drinking water in in Flint, Michigan, was contaminated, resulting in a slew of devastating medical problems for the families. Hopefully, the Lifetime Television Network will make plans to help the victims of the water crisis in Flint, Michigan, financially. Artist Gene Moore, a Houston, Texas-based contemporary gospel singer, Gene Moore is the son of two pastors. He grew up surrounded by music and church, singing in the Southeast Inspirational Choir as a teenager. Moore and Intended to pursue a career in broadcasting, but began to drift back to gospel music in his early 20s. He worked as a youth pastor and praise and worship leader, eventually signing with Motown Gospel in October of 2013. He worked as a supporting vocalist on stage and in the studio while assembling material for his debut project. New Direction After being laid off from his job at a chemical plant, Jarrell Gray formed a choir in 1994. His mission was to bring more youth into the church and giving young singers ages 16 through 25 the opportunity to use their talents for the glory of the Lord, thus giving them an alternative to the distractions of the streets, which can be alluring. Looking around his hometown of Chicago, he saw a lot of talented young Christian musicians, all looking for a way to serve the Lord with their considerable vocal gifts. Here's your GMA Dove Award winners for 2017. Contemporary Gospel Urban Recorded Song of the Year went to Kirk Franklin for My World Needs You. Traditional Gospel Recorded Song of the Year, Change Me by Tamala Mann. Urban Worship Recorded Song of the Year, Joy by LaShawn Mitchell. Rap Hip Hop Album of the Year went to Trip Lee for the album The Waiting Room. Contemporary Gospel Urban Album of the Year, C.C. Winans for Let Them Fall in Love. And finally, Traditional Gospel Album of the Year went to Donnie McClurkin for The Journey Live. Who were the first African American filmmakers? Oscar McCoe was an African American filmmaker whose movies were a challenge to racial segregation and an alternative outlet for black moviegoers. He is thought to have written, produced, and directed more than 40 films from 1919 to 1948. Oscar McCoe was born in Metropolis, Illinois, January 2nd, 1884. He moved to Chicago at the age of 17 and worked as a porter before moving to South Dakota to farm and write. McCoe's experiences served as the subject matter for his novel, The Homesteader. In 1919, he produced a big screen version of the novel, which was the first full-length feature produced by an African-American filmmaker. McCoe continued to make films for the next three decades until his death on March 25, 1951, in Charlotte, North Carolina. Spencer Williams was a brilliant director, born January 14, 1893 was an American actor and filmmaker. He was best known for playing Andy on the TV show, The Amos and Andy Show, and for directing the 1941 race film, The Blood of Jesus. Cassie Lemons was born February 24, 1961, an African-American film director and actress. Her most notable work are the films Eve's Bayou, The Caveman Valentine, and Talk to Me. Julie Dash, born October 22, 1952, after writing and directing several short films, 
films, her 1991 feature, Daughters of the Dust, became the first full-length film directed by an African-American woman, Spike Lee, whose real name is Shelton Jackson Lee, born March 20th, 1957 in Atlanta. He's been making films since the age of 20. Ava Marie DuVernay, born August 24th, 1972, is an American director, screenwriter, film marketer, and film distributor. At the 2012 Sundance Film Festival, DuVernay won the Best Director Prize for her second film, Middle of Nowhere, becoming the first African-American woman to win the award for her work in Selma 2014. DuVernay was the first black female director nominated for a Golden Globe Award. She was also the first African-American female director to have been nominated for the Academy Award for Best Picture. Well, that's your gospel news for this week. I'm Nina Taylor. Let's get back to more great gospel music on this great station. You're listening to UGA Gospel Storm Midnight Love Garden with Miss Coco Bowden right here on iHeartRadio. All right, y'all, sit back and chill and let's get ready to unwind to some good old quartet, some groovy quartet at that. All right. All right. I'm in love with you Even if you're 